Hi, my name is Debbie Dusick with Gutsy Women. In today's video, I'll be talking about what is a web server. Now, before I go on to that, I would like to say that there are different ways that people learn. And if you are the traditional learner and you like to just read articles to learn that way, then you can certainly find that article on my blog or my website. In the video, what I'd like to do is I'd like to have a little bit more fun with it and I'd like to tell you stories and give you images so that you can understand what is a web server maybe a little bit better. A web server uh, technically is a computer that is sitting there with a file that has information on it that makes it available to whoever is looking for that. So if you're sitting at the computer and you punch on a link or you put into your web browser, the URL, which is the Uniform Resource Locator, that being the um, place where you're going to send your message to the server that's going to know that, that you want the information that's on, on in its brain. So we're going to pretend that the, the, the server is this big brain, it's this big glob of brain sitting there. And it's waiting, it, it doesn't really do anything, until you send it a message. It's sort of like our brain. Our brain doesn't really send out anything until we think about it and then we talk about it. And if I talk about it to you, then you're going to hear the message. And if I ask you a question, you're going to look around in your brain and you're going to find the spot that knows the answer to it and then you're going to send it back to me. And I am going to use my brain to figure out what you told me whether I can compute that or not. It's exactly how. What's intimidating about it? What's fearful about that? It's really very simple. You don't have to get into all of the technologies about it. So here's what it is. In order for that big glob of brain to understand what's going on, you also have to have this brain over here, which is basically your computer, that needs a monitor so that you can see with your eyes what's going on. With the monitor, it needs something called a web browser, and that's the part where the code is written into the computer and the monitor so that you can actually view the information because you've got to realize this brain is sending all these X's and O's and all these things right, right over to the computer, and if it presented it that way, you certainly wouldn't be able to see it. So now you've got your web browser that is basically a software program that allows you to see the information, the text, the, the images, all of the information that you sent for when you clicked on that URL. So let's say that um, I find a really cool domain name or, or a really cool site and I send that domain name to you so that you can go take a look at it. Then you click on it. And that sends you to a website where you can view some really cool stuff. For example, um, there's the Next Internet Millionaire has on their blog now a place where you can go and you can see all of this free information from the gurus that I got to see in the Next Internet Millionaire. And you have two choices. You can win by by putting a comment in that blog. So you get the free information, you put a, a, a comment in that little block there, and you can say, oh, that was great information, here's why I loved it. Or you can say, that was a piece of junk, why'd you even bother me with that? Now, that's the kind of thing that you can do. That's what makes it interactive, and everybody is sort of happy because all of that information, your input, their input, all works together. That's all you need to know. There's the web server, there's the, there's the web browser, and they interact to help you get the information that you need. So I hope that makes it a little simpler for you, and in the next one we'll talk about blogs. What is a blog? Come back and see us.